All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. This is Advent of Code day one, and I'm gonna be doing it in a random language chosen by this wheel generator. So we're gonna see how this goes, um, probably very poorly since I, I don't really know Kotlin or F sharp. I barely know OCaml and like Lisp, like Racket and barely know C. Well, C is just going to be a total disaster anyway um, for trying to go fast. And then TypeScript is probably the one that I, I have the best chance in because it's just JavaScript with more steps. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm leaving it up to fate as to what I will be doing evidence of code in, which is going to be awesome. So um, All right, let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Come on. Oh, this is a good day. All right, this is this is a good start. This is a good start. It's a language that I can probably do fairly quickly. Um, I just need to, to get it set up in like zero seconds here. So uh, do you, oh, one dot, yes. How do you run TypeScript? Tia, um, like you have to run something, right? TSC, that's the thing. TS. Oh shoot, I don't have it installed. Um, So I'm going to add it in here. Python TypeScript. Is it t TypeScript? Yeah. And then I'm going to just hope that my language server sort of works here. I don't know how to do input, so that's going to be fun. Okay, cool. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. Um, read input TypeScript. Uh, Node.js. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of stack overflowing because I don't even know how to do input. Um, read line. Okay, perfect. And my um, uh, okay looks like looks like my language server is working, which is a really good sign. Uh, and then let's see. I have some utilities in my shell. I don't remember what they're called. Uh, and it day get input, get input. Okay, I'll run that. Okay, so then how do I use this? How do I just read line by line? This is this is what I want. Like reading value from console iteratively. Add listener. Okay, so it looks like add listeners. Hmm. 
Maybe this will work. Maybe just data. Okay, so so how does this work? TSC. And then I run node. JS. Oh, this is not going well. Uh, do I have to close the interface immediately? D dot two string. Wait, what is D? Maybe I don't want a listener here. Uh, on line? That seems like what we want. Line, line, line. TSC and node D01. Oh, let me do the get input. What's wrong with this? Whatever. Um, get puzzle input. Okay, so I'll have to fix my get input script because that's clearly not working. TSC D01 and node D01.js input 01.text. For those of you, if, if anybody's joining, uh, uh, I, I just picked a random language using this, this wheel and I have no idea how to read input in JavaScript. So this is just a, a really good start. Um, So I think, okay, cool. So dot on, uh, so I want dot on, I think, dot on close, or maybe I don't even care. Maybe I just do this. Okay, cool, cool. So I actually finally understand how to read input. This is like, this is progress. Dot on close. This is probably where I want the, the actual like data to be. Okay, so lines equals. I think it's, this is this format, there we go. And then I need to do that. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, I got an array. All right, now I have to read the problem. <laughs> um, all right, something wrong, global snow, snow production. But amended by very uh, 
lines of trash specific calibration value that elves need to recover on each line value can be found the first digit and the last digit in that order to form a single two digit number so one two three adding these okay so it's calibration all right so um for i guess should i turn off i should turn off copilot i don't know copilot disable Um, lines dot for each, no, dot map, line string. I thought I disabled copilot, copilot status, copilot toggle. Eh, I probably going to need all the help I could get, honestly. We'll go with Copilot this year. Uh, Lines.map. So each line I want to. Line dot filter. Char string. Char dot is digit. Check if char is digit TypeScript. I guess it's JavaScript is fine. Is a number. Oh my gosh, seriously? <laughs> uh, okay, let's just use the regex. Line dot filter. What's the filter JavaScript equivalent? Array. So so. Array. Can I do like new array on the line? Um. Plus int one. Uh, <laughs> let's do that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so this is not exactly what I wanted. We're going to abuse type system a little bit, even though we're using TypeScript. I really should pipe this to less so I can see what's going on. And then maybe my input text is weird. No. Okay. So. So maybe this isn't doing what I think it's doing. That seems likely. I want like all the characters. Oh yeah, okay. So every, how do I get, fill uh, array of all chars in string JavaScript. Oh, okay, <laughs> fine. Um, Not split on nothing. So convert string to int JavaScript. Parsent. 
uh, except for this is going to be len int.length minus one and then get rid of that dot reduce sure That looks like a reasonable number. Yeah, all right. That's nowhere close to leaderboarding because I had so long to figure out how to actually do this, but I'm happy with that. Okay, so actually spelled out in letters. So two nine. Oh my gosh. Okay. So so this is just. Let's do that. Do I need the process that exit? Like. Okay. So. Lines up. Um. For. Um. I equals zero, I is less than line dot length, I plus, I plus plus, I guess. Um, if, if, if this, line I, Um, I, I keep forgetting you need parentheses around all these things. Constance equals good old TypeScript doesn't have numbers. Okay, so cannot read the declare. Okay, that's fine. So it's the same. It's the same like concept. Except for this time, yeah. So if it's a number in stop uh, push, yeah, that looks right. Else, switch line i. Okay, so let me just write out one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so case O can stop push one I plus equals two. We need to skip three ahead. Case T and stop uh, switch. Which line i plus one? Oh, Copilot is going to help me so much with this. It's not even funny. T break case f uh, switch. It feels like cheating to do this. Why is why is Copilot like not being disabled? This is a real question. Uh, okay, switch line I plus one, case O. Phi, if I 
So is this right though? So H plus three, yeah. So then plus three plus four or five case S. Oh wait, um, I need to end that break. Case S switch line I plus one. Case I six E seven and we have four case E eight nine nine. Oops. All right, so that was not right. Uh, that's okay. Let's do the example. O one dot test dot txt. Okay. And this should be 281. Oh, it says 291. And there's a NAN somewhere. Oh, because, okay, yeah, because th this isn't valid in the first one. That's fine. Line I line dot substring I. I just want to see what I'm dealing with at each point. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to actually check the entire thing. Okay. Scratch that. Else if... Uh... Oh, okay. So, so I can do part equals this part dot starts else if start part dot starts with one two three please copilot save me four five yeah, I'm pretty sure AI is coming for all of our jobs. Like this is, this is, this is, um, it's writing the code for me. Otherwise we just go. Okay. Let's see, do we get the right answer? Okay, we get the right answer. So now we gotta do it on this input.
And that was wrong too? Uh oh, uh oh. This is not good. Is it overlapping? I, I bet that's what it is. I'm not supposed to do this. That's really annoying that the test case doesn't have that. Wait, what did I just submit? Five. Five four five oh six, and this one says five oh four five oh four. Two one zero. Woo! All right. Uh, cool. So that is day one. So we picked a, a language that I had to uh, figure out how to do input for, so that was fun. Um, yeah, I guess TypeScript will be easier in the, in the future. So, so this, is, this, is, this is nice to have. Um, yeah, it was kind of annoying that, the, that, that they could be overlapping, but okay. Uh, such is life. So, one implement in TypeScript. <laughs> All right, so let me pull this in here as well. I was I was pretty happy with the, how that went, considering I I don't write TypeScript at all. Um, Two stars. So I, I do write a little bit of TypeScript at work, but it, it's just it's just a different beast. I did a random uh, language from this wheel every night, and so I'm gonna where's the personal times. This was actually not horrible considering I was doing a language where I didn't know how to do input for the first like forever. Like literally I spent five minutes doing input. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that. All right. Um, I, I think I'm going to call it there. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow spinning the wheel again for what language I'm going to be doing. And I will have, I will see you then. Oh, actually, no, we're not going to be back tomorrow. I am, I will do it tomorrow, but I, uh, I'm not going to be streaming it. So I'll see you probably on day three. Thank you for watching.